Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. And in this video, I will be talking about Kevin Hart and his sketchy accident. Now, please notate that they flagged the video I did about him on here, and they also flagged the video I did about Aaliyah on the Truth Show. So please share, 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 share. Okay, with that being said, let's talk. After a lot of research, I can clearly say that something isn't right about this accident. But before I get into that, watch this clip of me talking about his previous accidents. Truth be told, Kevin getting into car accidents isn't anything new, okay? It was just six years ago, whereas in 2013, whereas he was speeding down the freeway at 90 miles per hour in his black Mercedes, weaving across traffic lanes and almost running into a gas tank or truck, oh yes. When patrol officer pursued him, he took an off ramp and pulled over and the police said this, Mr. Hart had objective signs of intoxication and was unable to perform the field sobriety test. But it gets crazier because, you know, Kevin, he's a comedian, right? So he tweeted this about the accident a little later. This is what he said. When the cop asked me to take a sobriety test, I said, why waste our time? I'm drunk, man. <laughs> the Los Angeles traffic police officer <laughs> arrested Kevin on suspicion of, of drunk driving and he went to jail and held him on a $5,000 bond. Then okay. last, so keep that thought for a sec and let that marinate. And now I want you to listen to this 911 call. This is the first responder. This is before the alleged hired CHP, which means California Highway Patrol or reporters and so on. Take a listen. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. These are the emergency calls made moments after Kevin Hart's vintage muscle car careened off an LA road. He looks like he's hating. The caller describing the chaotic scene early Sunday morning. Sounds like the passenger stuck in the car. Uh, the driver is out of the car, but uh, he looks a little hurt. Uh, I think the top of the car is crushed. But today there is new confusion about who was behind the wheel. How many people are stuck inside, do you know? I think it's just one lady. Uh, the driver is out right now. They're trying to get the passenger out. The bystander saying he saw the driver get out of the car. But the initial report says Hart's friend, Jared Black, was in the driver's seat and trapped in the vehicle when emergency crews arrived. Police say Black's fiance, fitness trainer Rebecca Broxterman, was also unable to get out of the car. In the newly released calls, an unidentified male voice can also be heard speaking in the background. But police did not say any of the passengers were taken to the hospital on their own, indicating only Hart left the scene to his nearby residence to get medical attention. The initial police report also saying alcohol was not a factor in the crash. At 2.15 a.m., a woman identifying herself as Hart's wife called 911 from their home. He was in a car accident earlier tonight or what happened? Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent at all. Did he get treatment originally from when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We're just here and he can't, he can't move. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? You see anything broken? Uh, just something on his back is pulling out on his spine. Hart is expected to make a full recovery after undergoing back surgery. But four days after the accident, police sources familiar with the matter tell NBC News the investigation remains ongoing. Now, please notate that Kevin was the only one that was reported to have gotten out first, which, by the way, has been confirmed by the gentleman in that 911 call and the hired CHP and bystanders and so on. But then you will hear a call from, I'm assuming his wife, now, truth be told, she sound out of it. I don't know if she was asleep or if she was high. I don't know. But it was confirmed that Jared Black was clean. I mean, no test was done on Kevin Hart, so I don't know what his status is. But okay, now, I want you all to understand that Kevin Hart's car is a two-seater. There is no back seat and the front seat is an event seat, meaning someone will have to be sitting on someone's lap. We know that Jared's fiance was in the car. 
So we have to assume that she was seated on Kevin's lap. Hmm? Now, would a man allow his fiance to sit on another man's lap, even if he's married or not? Or why would Kevin allow someone to drive his car, his special customized car? Kevin, who is known to be very territorial. Yeah, now think about the time that I assume who his wife, she said that he's been gone for about 20 minutes when the hired CHP said it was at least 90 minutes away. You see where the lies are coming in at? Mm -hmm. Now let's look at some evidence here. First slide. Who was driving? It's apparent that Kevin Hart was driving and that was confirmed by two people or more. Okay, that's been confirmed. He was the first person out of the car. Second line, were they speeding? Okay, it has been noted that they're doing an investigation on whether or not the accident was caused by speeding or not. But considering the time frame of what his wife had said about how long they've been gone, we can clearly say that he was speeding because they said it was a 90 minute drive away, but she said he was gone in 20 minutes, so he was speeding. Was Kevin high on drugs or something else? You all saw that clip and truth be told, Kevin has a history of drinking and smoking and driving. Not sure of all he has known to do. I'm not sure if he was smoking, but we can clearly say that for him to have been driven home just so he wouldn't get caught up in the driver's seat says a lot not to mention his injuries that mean kevin was either so high and not to mention his adrenaline was so high as well he didn't feel anything which happens when you're under drugs or your adrenaline is really really high you know until much later i believe and this is all alleged i believe that kevin hart was either taking jared and his fiance home after he'd been drinking and no telling him what else. They all piled in the car, Kevin, you know, in the driver's seat and Jared and his fiance were in the passenger seat. He was speeding. I'm not sure if it was purposely done or if he was in the zone, I mean, that happens. And he lost control and you know the rest. His bodyguard was already tailgating or just near. So he pulled Kevin out first and then quickly drove him home he needed to get clean first, not to mention he didn't want to be caught on the scene, especially in the driver's seat with his history of DUI, okay, among other things like domestic abuse. Oh, yes, that's what his ex-wife was alleging that he used to hit on her and stuff. Mm -hmm. The driver's seat, you see, the driver's seat, it's very close to the steering wheel, and if you look at Kevin's other cars that would be the case because he's so short second clue the passenger seat okay check out the passenger seat it's apparent that two people could have sat there and considering how tall Jared is but yet not a big guy he and his fiance could have been sitting there it's also apparent that she may have gotten out first probably by the window and Jared more than likely got stuck. I mean, he was kind of tall. His legs more than likely were broken, especially if his fiance was sitting on his lap when they went over. Third clue, no airbags. That's plain. Fourth clue, Kevin Hart injuries. You see the steering wheel is bent, meaning when they went over, Kevin was rammed against the steering wheel and that may have dislodged his spine. Hence what his wife Nico said of something poking out of his spine and leaking. His spinal couldn't be in that condition if he was sitting in the passenger seat with Jared's wife on his lap. He would have been protected by her and the seat. But again, please note that Jared was clear of drugs. He was clean. No record of Kevin being tested or not or you know uh jared's fiance so for the hired chp to have said that he wasn't drunk when it's reported that kevin had been pulled from the scene before he even got there raises a lot of questions just saying now whether his friend jared will tell the truth remains to be said but i hope he remembers that kevin left his fiance and he there 
on their own to save his own behind. Their car could have been blown up within a minute. Just saying. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on all of my social platforms such as The Truth Show, The Truth Show Deluxe, and also support my patron and my blog if you want to read my scripts and other stories that I can't clearly say on here and just get a clear look at what I was saying. Just in case you may have missed it, you can always change the language at the bottom of the page and it could change to whatever language you may speak. All the links are below. See you all there. Love you all. Bye. Yeah.